Hey everybody, Kitty Cat Art here, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a little, little, little ch palette challenge. Uh, called a challenge, if you will. It was kind of like, it was just a random palette generator. Um, so yeah, I did that. I didn't record myself randomly generating this palette. Or I did, and I didn't, I lost the footage. I don't know what happened. I can't find it, but whatever. So yeah, I'll talk about the palette in a little bit when I start coloring, but right now I'm going to talk about these struggles I had sketching this, because I didn't have any ideas. And I was like, this was a fail plan. Uh, that one was like, yo, I'll draw a full body because I'm like that, but I'm like, no, that's way too much work. So I ended up on this guy, uh, and I knew from the start that I wanted to draw a little monster boy because it's probably my favorite thing to draw in the world. Uh, I love them, but, you know, uh, whatever. So, yeah, and I'm sketching it with that new brush. I think I already talked about this in another video, but I'm still, like, kind of in love with it. It's like, it's a chalk brush on, uh, Corel Painter. Um, and yeah, oh, oh! I discovered a new thing about my Coral Painter program because uh, if you uh, know Coral Painter, you'd know nobody else knows. <laughs> nobody else knows about it. Um, nobody. It's not famous. It's not like popular at all. I shouldn't say famous because they're like drawing programs. It's not popular at all. Um, definitely not up there with the size and the the uh, Photoshop's, the uh, what is it, Clip Studio Paint, all the all those famous ones that people like to use. Coral Painter's not there. Uh, so the people who have it, like me, are kind of luck out when it comes to tutorials, um, because everybody does tutorials on, you know, Photoshop or Paint Tool Sci, all those ones, so, uh, I just sit here and like, okay, how can I adapt this to Coral Painter? Um, but yeah, I have, uh, I feel like maybe I should do a Coral Painter tutorial for those people like me who, you know, don't know anything about, <laughs> about it, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know, uh, I just wish that there were more um, Coral Painter tutorials out there, uh, especially, like, I could have used them very, very much so, and I'm, like, I'm still discovering little things about my program that I want to share with people because, like, I didn't know about these features for years and I've been using this program. It's, like, it's a very slow process of me discovering what I'm able to do on this program. Uh, for the longest time, I thought that I couldn't do the two, like, screen things. You see how, like, I have the drawing on one, and then on another little window that's, like, off to the side, I have all the colors. Um, I never knew how to do that <laughs> at all, and I just discovered it while doing this drawing. I was, I was in awe. I was shocked, um, that I was, <laughs> that my program could do this, uh, because I always thought that Coral Painter couldn't handle it. Uh, it wasn't able to do it, but hey, wow, look at that, it's able to do it, and I would have never known if I didn't just randomly accidentally click in the, an area, so I feel like maybe I should show people some tips and tricks with this program, because uh, I certainly could have used it when I was uh, trying to learn how to use, uh, use it, so, you know, maybe it could help. Uh, that being said, though, not a lot of people even use Coral Painter, so maybe it's a useless video, but whatever, so I'm coloring now, I should probably talk about the colors. Uh, that I chose. So I did randomly uh, choose this palette. Um, it was on Coolers, uh, which I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. It's probably my favorite um, random color site. I use it all the time, especially with the dops and I have to uh, pick a ton of different color schemes. It's great. I know there's better programs out there for color schemes though, like customizing your palettes and stuff, uh, and I haven't looked into those. I've just randomly seen them on Tumblr and they like fly by, you know? Um, but yeah, but hey, Maybe they're better, I don't know, but I like coolers because it's really simple and easy. Uh, it has an app on your phone too, but it's like, you have to pay for it, so I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Uh, but yeah, so the colors that I got were pretty fantastic. Um, this palette's really nice. I really like more, um, neutral tones and, like, not, like, bright in your face, you know? And they're, this palette's really su subtle, you know? Like, uh, the purples and the blues are, like, really, really, um, desaturated, and I'm like, that's good, that's good, and brown neutral tones, always good. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I do brown line art, which means that this was pretty perfect, because all I had to do was my normal line art color, it's, that's like, it's pretty much that. Um, uh, actually, the one that, my normal line art color is a little bit more on the redder side than that one, that one's a little not, but, um, hey, it's close enough, uh, so it was, this was actually pretty easy for me. Um, but yeah, you know, I could have, I don't, what could I have done? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, coming to a close. This was a really quick video, um, and, and it's on Wednesday too, I know, I know I'm late with the videos, but hey, maybe I'll get back on track someday, maybe not, um, but hey, at least you got a video this week, kind of. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, uh, the finished video, the finished picture, there he is.
There's the cutie. So yeah, thanks uh, for watching. Like, comment, all that jazz. You know what the people say, and goodbye. You know, part of me feels like I should get, like, a outro music or something like that. But the other part of me is like, dude, you and I both know you're too lazy to find some good music. You can barely find good copyright-free music. I mean, I'm sure good copyright-free jazz music's out there, but man...